Hey everyone, I wanted to make a video today to give some tips on traveling with multiple passports. Uh, in my case, I'm a dual passport holder and I've learned some tips and some tricks um, traveling with two passports. It's not always straightforward and when I first became a dual passport holder back in May of 2018, I tried to look on the internet for some suggestions as to uh, which passports to use in which situation and there wasn't a lot of information about that subject so since then I've traveled overseas and internationally probably 10 or so times um, so that's allowed me to have some experience with being a dual passport holder in traveling with both passports and um, hopefully that will be able to help any of you that are uh, looking for suggestions or answers as to which passport you should use in which situation. So for my experience, this is going to be mostly air travel. Uh, so keep that in mind that this is specifically with traveling with airlines, but I'm sure it probably translates well with any other types of travel. And that said, I'm not obviously a, a legal professional, so this is just my experience and advice, but this is by no means legal advice. So if you need further advice, uh, legally speaking, definitely speak with uh, an attorney or lawyer that is specialized in this subject. I have an American passport and as of 2018, I'm also a French passport holder. So this is my, this is my American passport and this is my French passport. And most of my travels entail going back and forth from France in the US. But I've also, I've also gone to other countries since then. Um, but let's take the example of traveling from France to the US. So the first rule of thumb is always use the passport of the country you're in. So a straightforward example, when I'm in France, I'm going to use my French passport when I'm leaving France and also when I'm entering the country. I don't want to be using my American passport at the border control uh, when I'm entering France or if I'm leaving France. It, it just doesn't make sense and it's, it's just not the way to go about it. So. I'm using the example of leaving France to go to the US for a trip. When I'm going through the border uh, control to leave France officially, and they're gonna stamp my passport, I'm gonna use my French passport and I'm going to be in line with uh, French citizens. And then when I arrive in the US, I'm going to be in the American line. I'm going to enter as an American with my American passport. So that's, and vice versa, when I'm leaving the US to come back to France, I'm gonna leave the US as an American citizen with my US passport. So when we're talking about border control, that's quite straightforward. I'm leaving or entering France with my French passport and I'm leaving or entering the US with my American passport. Now, when we're talking about airlines, it's slightly different. So let's say I'm living in Marseille. I'm booking my flights to go to the US. When I sign up for that flight, even though I'm living in France, I'm going to actually sign up for that flight with the destination to the US uh, with the airlines as an American citizen. Because for uh, foreigners traveling to the US, you have to pay uh, you know, a fee, and I can't remember what the, what the name of the like, travel visa is. I'll, I'll post it on the screen. But you have, you have, as a foreigner, you have to go through certain specifications and the airline wants to verify that you can actually go to that country. Whereas when I show them I'm an Ameri I have the American passport, they know that there will be no issues with that. So likewise, when I go to the airport to check in to my flight, let's say Charles de Gaulle in Paris, I go to, go to the flight check-in with United, for example, I'm gonna to present to the person there my American passport. Uh, even though I'm in France, I'm presenting to the airline my American passport because for them, the most important thing is to see that I have the right to travel to the country of destination. So I give them my American passport, they give me my, my boarding ticket, and then I proceed to customs to officially leave France. As I previously mentioned, I'm going to use my French passport with the border control agents to leave France officially as a French citizen. So that's, that, that's the, the first point. Let's use another example, it's a bit more complex, and this is something I ran into. Uh, I actually used the wrong passport. There's no harm done, but uh, it was a good lesson for me. So when uh, last summer when I was coming back to France from my holidays in the US, we were going from the US to Montreal with a connection in Montreal to Paris. And at the check-in for United in the US, I presented my French passport because I figured I'm 
my final destination is France, so I want to show to the United the United Airlines that I have the right to go to my final destination. However, what I failed to think about was the fact that my initial destination was Canada. It wasn't France, which was my final destination. So United was more concerned, first and foremost, with whether or not I had a legal right to go to Canada. And so when I presented my French passport, the, the lady said to me, have you done the necessary uh, check-in for foreign travelers to Canada that are not US or uh, Mexican citizens? And I said, well, actually I am an American citizen. So she said, well, I suggest that you present your US passport when you're traveling to Canada because those foreign requirements are not applied to US citizens. So that was a lesson for me that you also have to take into account which countries you're going to in between your steps to getting to the final destination if there are, um, if you have, you know, connecting flights or whatnot. So that was a good, uh, a good um, lesson for me. So in that case, I should have presented the American passport to the lady to go to Canada for my connecting flight. Upon arriving in Canada uh, at customs, I used my American passport once again. Uh, so as to avoid any issues with, uh, with that. And then upon leaving Canada, I also left Canada with my American passport. But in Montreal, I had to uh, check in once again with uh, the airline company. And when checking in, I checked in with my French passport because they wanted to see, first and foremost, that from Montreal, I had the right to travel freely to France. So obviously the best passport in that situation would be the French passport. Some other examples, or not, not other examples, but let's say you're not, tra it's not necessarily between your home country or your two home countries. Like traveling between France and the US is a clear cut example because those are my two home countries. But let's say you're, whole, you're traveling to another country with whom you don't hold a passport and you have two passports. So in my case, I have a French and a US passport and I'm traveling to uh, the UK, for example. Well, let's use Germany, actually. Germany is better now that. Uh, let's use a, an EU member state. I'm traveling to Germany. Uh, obviously, Germany and France are part of the Schengen area. So I'm going to use my French passport because if I use my US passport, that could cause more issues because the German, uh, German border control or customs, I should say, might be curious as to how I've been living in France for eight years as an American citizen and what right I have to remain in the Schengen area. Whereas by presenting my French passport, that avoids any complications or any confusion. So traveling within the Schengen area, obviously I'm gonna use my French passport. Uh, but let's say I'm traveling to a country where perhaps French relations aren't the best. I don't have an example off the top of my head, but for lack of an example, let's just use a, a made up country X. So I'm traveling to country X, and let's say diplomatic relations with France is very complicated. So to avoid any trouble with that regard, uh, and let's say country X at the same time has good relations with the US. Well, in that case, when I'm entering and leaving that country, I'm definitely gonna make sure that I use my American passport to avoid any complications that might arise if I use my French passport. Another last example I'll give is um, when you're traveling to two different countries uh, that have bad relations amongst them. So, uh, or not necessarily bad, but it's, you know, they wouldn't, you want to avoid showing that you've been to one country. So I have a good anecdote with that, with my German friend who is a German and French citizen, and he's actually uh, been living in Algeria and working extensively in Algeria. Uh, so he uses his German passport to go back and forth from Algeria, because it's perhaps better seen than a French passport, given the uh, difficult history between France and Algeria. And furthermore, a couple years back, he wanted to go to Israel for the first time. He had the opportunity. He always wanted to see the country. And so he went to Israel on his French passport. Either passport would have been fine, but he knew that if he went to Israel with his German passport and got stamped with the Israel stamp on his German passport, and then going back to Algeria, he might run into some issues. It's not guaranteed, but uh, for, for potentially Germ um, Algerian border or custom uh, agents seeing an Israel stamp in his German passport uh, might have an issue with that. So in this case, that's a good example of using your secondary passport to keep your main passport with a certain country clean of any evidence of going to countries with whom they might not have the best relations. So that was an interesting example for me. 
and that's something to keep in mind. There you have it. I hope my experiences and my uh, tips for you are helpful. If you have any questions, definitely leave comments below and I'll be happy to answer those. And let me know if you have any other instances or examples that I left out that might be useful for, uh, for, for others. So please be sure to leave a like and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.